We've got the Seahawks and the Browns. Browns looking for a much-needed bounce-back win after their embarrassment of a game on Monday Night Football. But the Seahawks, they had some other plans early in this game, though. Nick Chubb, he has been on a roll this season, and he keeps it going. He's punching that one in for yet another touchdown for Chubb's season. Just his second year in the NFL, but now the ball in Russell Wilson's hands. I think if the season ended today, MVP would have to be him or Deshaun Watson, however you want to decide it. But Russell Wilson straight up the gut. He's getting the rushing touchdown for himself, but it was a mixed extra point. That could be costly later, but Baker Mayfield, he's showing off his wheels too, so he's going to run that one into the end zone for a touchdown. So both quarterbacks with rushing touchdowns in this game. Now it's an 8-point Browns lead. Baker with the ball again. He's trying to extend this lead. And look at this. He finds the receiver wide open in the end zone. So he'll get yet another touchdown. It's going to be a 2-score lead now for the Browns. And now it's an 8-point game again. And the Seahawks, they will have a response to the deficit. As that is going to be Brown in the back corner of the end zone for a touchdown. Russell Wilson trying to work some of his MVP magic. Get them back into this game. And thanks to some costly Baker May May field turnovers they would be right back in this thing that's going to be brown for a second touchdown on the day so the seahawks they're now taking the lead now it's a five point lead for the seahawks but nick chubb he's giving the browns the lead right back so this is a back and forth game right here we had some back and forth action that is chubb's second touchdown of the game now it's first and goal and yet another lead change is that one just ran straight up the middle for a touchdown so the seahawks they're taking the lead and that could be the final lead change change of the game as it's 32-28. This would be the final score as on the Browns' last chance, it is slipped out of the wide receiver's hands. Can't fault Baker for that one, but still a pick, and that would be game.